thank you, Wu. Up next, Morgan Basicus. Hello, 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 thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you for respecting my request to have the Americana behind me. That was important, it's part of my rider everywhere I go. Um, I, um, first of all, I just want to say it feels so good to be on the High Line. Thank you. <laughs> feels good to be back on the High Line. I have met some of my favorite people on the High Line ever, period in the macaroon line, <laughs> in the bathroom line, and in the bathroom. In fact, as I was coming today, I realized I met my mentees on the High Line, which is so weird to think about how it all comes back together. You know, it's one full circle here. I met them when I met my mentees. First of all, I don't want to be preachy, but if you guys don't have mentees, I don't know what to say. Don't boo, get mentees. Um, if you don't have, oh, I met my mentees, and when I met them, they were, oh my God, it was so sweet. They were so, they were like these young gay, well, I don't know how they identify, because you don't know. I don't know if they identify as my mentees or not, because <laughs> you don't know. You think you, you know, that's the whole thing. You think you know, but it's how you feel about how they feel. Um, <laughs> That's it. And they were so sweet. They were walking down the hill. I saw them and I could feel right away they were so scared. Do you know? Like they were covered in like tablets. You know, just like tablet, 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 you know, tablets. And I was like, oh my God, like they can't even be together. You know, they're twin, they're like gay twins or whatever they were. And I just, I just, I do this thing sometimes when I see people that are sort of screaming for help, and I walk behind them, and I just sort of keep an eye on them, because I know they're, you know, it's like they might, their heads were down, you know what I mean? They could like fall right off the high line or <laughs> stumble into like a tick bush or something. This is nature. And I said, just very quietly behind them, I said, I'm watching you. No, no, I didn't say I'm white. I said, I, I see you. I see that you're in pain or whatever. I don't know exactly the thing that I said. But here's the thing I want to tell you guys who are looking for mentees, who are prospective mentors, that mentees are never ready for help. That's, the, that's how you know that they need it. Because these kids, and I'm sorry to call them kids, they started running. And I was like, oh, my God, what is... Like, it's so sweet. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's, you know, let's stretch our bodies. Let's get it out. You need to stretch your whatever. And I was like, make way for, you know, just like getting Swedish people at, you know, just blonde, blonde, blonde. <laughs> Let them through, you know? Like, it gets better for them. Make, sh make, sh make sure they're okay. Make way for them. And they just kept going, which I was, it was good. <laughs> it was powerful. For them and also for me. Um, so that's a little bit about the High Line. I love the High Line. I feel like it's our commons, right? I don't know exactly what that means, but I feel like it's like our common room, you know, like in our house, like a house that's like not your house and like you have to keep walking through the common room and you can't like put any of your stuff on the wall and like if anybody else is there, you have to leave. But it's like, it's yours. You know, like, you know it's yours. Or it's not yours. But you're near to it. <laughs> so not everything is bad. You know? Like, that's my whole thing. Like, not everything is bad. Um, what else? Obviously, it's been a really intense time for me with my thumb. Um, <laughs> I do just wanted to bring it up just to say I'm not going to be talking about it today. 
the organizers of the event, Zoe was like pleading with me. She was like, you have to talk about it. You have to, you know, like people want to know, personal is political, all that stuff. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to make this about me. I'm not going to make this about me. This is about Zoe. It's not about me. I'm not going to talk about it. I will say very briefly <laughs> that if you get an impulse to cook for people, you know, you're going to chop off your hand. Um, in any case, it's been an intense time. There's so much noise out there. You know, there's so much to read, right? Does anybody else? Okay. Like, I feel like there's so much to read. Like, I wake up every day and just, like, the stack of, like, fucking Elena Ferrante books, you know, just, like, <laughs> like, Streganona overnight, you know, just, like, growing more. It's like, what, when is she doing? What does she have time for this, you know? All of them unopened <laughs> as a kind of protest, <laughs> as a kind of resistance. There's a lot going on right now. I read... I was trying to get ready for today. I was reading the poster. And, um, <laughs> and I, I landed on the last, the last word or number, um, which is 1992. Obviously, I wasn't around. But I was thinking, like, what was that like? You know? That was my whole question. Like, what was that like? And so I could have gone online. You know, I could have. That would have been what you expect from me. But I didn't do that. I wanted to go inside. <laughs> I went inside and I did one of my classic Morgan annual November, first annual, um, <laughs> first annual November Lexapro cleanses, um, which is this amazing, I don't know if you've, no, it's very actually simple. It's more simple than it sounds. Um, it's like, let me see if I can explain. It's like you're going, Okay, it's like you're taking your medication and then you just stop. <laughs> That's, let me think if there's any other part of it. No, that's it, that's it, you just stop. And then, also, by the way, this is not like a doctor approved cleanse. Like there's tons of misinformation online. Or not misinformation, but more like, like a foreshadowing of what's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> And you know it's working, um, and very effectively when you, I'm trying to think, just to give you guys tips, because I want this to be useful. Um, you know it's working if you're like, what, like crying all the time, or you have like the flu, but it's not the flu. <laughs> so, I did that just to get in touch, and um, I started to go inside, and I was like, what was 1992, what would 1992 have been like? I don't know. And I, I went inside and I thought, okay, who can I call? I need to listen to that quiet voice for guidance here. And, and I was listening to that quiet voice and the quiet voice said, reach out, don't be alone. So I thought, okay, that's good. So I opened up my phone, started calling people just to reach out and just say, hey, I know we haven't talked for a while. You probably hear in my voice that I am going through some withdrawal. <laughs> I'm sorry for missing Yom Kippur. I should have called you to say I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, even if like what happened was mostly on you or whatever, <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't see that. So I'm sorry or I forgive you or whatever. So I was just kind of going through reaching out to people, but nobody was really giving me good information about what 1992 was like, you know, and like what I could get and why 1992 and what about 1992 do we have to learn? And so I had to make the call. I called my mom. I had to call my mom. And I was like, Mom, hi, I know we haven't talked in a while. And she said, well, we talked yesterday, but... Um, <laughs> and I was like, well, it feels like we haven't talked in a while. It feels like that. <sighs> And I said, Mom, I need, I need your help because I don't remember anything from 1992. I don't remember anything. And she said, what, what, are you, what are we talking about right now? What are we talking about? And I said, 
why do you sound so exhausted talking to me? This is why we never talk, you know? And I said, I need to remember something from 1992. Can you remind me something from 1992, right? And she said, well, all I remember was Natalie Cole. <laughs> that was the year of Natalie Cole. And suddenly it clicked. Did you all, do you remember 1992, the year of Natalie Cole? You all remember? This is the year Natalie Cole won the Grammy for best song, best record, best album. What's the difference between those words? <laughs> Don't know. Um, she won those three Grammys, performed live at the Grammys, with her deceased father, Nat King Cole, behind her, projected onto the screen, singing together a duet of Unforgettable. Who remembers it? Thank you. <sighs> come on. Come on. I thought, come on. <laughs> I thought we could, um, we don't want to forget. You know, never forget. So we wanted to... Um, I thought we could as a kind of, as a kind of spell, you know, like as a kind of spell, because I feel like Zoe's piece is like a spell, and people are now saying this spell over and over again, and I feel like this whole national anthem thing that people are kneeling, people are like divesting from the spell. They're divesting from the spell of the national anthem. They're like, well, maybe it doesn't exist. Okay, so I thought we could do this little spell of unforgettable. That seems like a good spell for this moment. So. If you're into doing this with me, please do. If you're not, pretend like you are, because I'm clearly in a very fragile place. Um, okay, so I thought, okay, so we could do a spell, and so I'll start the spell, and then we'll do three, we'll do three rounds. I don't know if that's true. Song, record, Grammy, album. Um, one, two, three. Don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, ready? So like we'll do the rounds, right? Okay. Unforgettable, unforgettable, unforgettable. That's what you are, that's what you are, that's what you are. Unforgettable, unforgettable, unforgettable. Though near or far, though near or far, though near or far. Like a song of love, like a song of love, like a song of love that clings to me, that clings to me, that clings to me. Um, just the thought of you, just the thought of you, just the thought of you does things to me. Does things to me, does things to me. Never before. Has someone been more? Now we can look at each other, because this is about each other. Unforgettable. In every way. In every way. And forevermore. And for. That's how you'll stay. That's how you'll stay. What is it? That's why, darling. That's why. It's incredible. It's incredible that someone so. That someone so unforgettable. And now we'll sing this all together. Thinks that I am unforgettable too. Thank you.